Hey, I'm finna pull. Hey, I'm finna pull up on you. Pull up, man. You supposed to hit me soon as you jump, man. <laughs> Staring up the pot without any good reason is never a smart thing to do, but when it comes to NBA Youngboy, it's a never-ending story with this dude. We got some developments going on when it comes to the beef he started with Boosie, and man, you won't believe what we're about to tell you. Believe it or not, the good old Boosie's back, and he means business. He got back at Youngboy for the diss, and man, did he make himself clear. But why did we get here, and how did the two rappers distance themselves to this extent? First off, let's get you all in the loop with just a little bit of history. It's funny that the two of them started off pretty nicely. It all kicked off with Boosie and Youngboy rapping together, of course. Two of them from Baton Rouge collaborated on more than one track together. As a matter of fact, they released a couple joints together. Some of them stretched back as far as 2017. Back then, they released the track FWM and got a hold of their flow together. Things developed a lot from here on out. Then Southern Smoke came from Lil Boosie's album Badass 3.5 in 2019. Around 2020, there were plenty of rumors going around that the two might drop a whole album together. And even though that never happened, we got a taste of the flavor. And fans went crazy over their collab. One fan said, Boosie and Youngboy hard together. Another person said how much Youngboy runs in the Young Boosie. Youngboy reminded me of the Young Boosie. Definitely need that album. Regardless of the album not coming to fruition, and we'll talk about that more in a minute, nothing stopped them from still dropping singles. The duo got together again in 2021 with a banger called Up In Blood. Then, Youngboy went to jail where he spent about six months. He was released on October 2021, but with a whopping $1.5 million bail. Also, part of the deal his lawyers made with the judge was that Youngboy was to be on house arrest for another period of time. He had to be under heavy surveillance in Utah by cops in the military. Boosie showed his support for the young rapper by going on Twitter and posting, Free to go, YB, till we see the go. He go be back. That wasn't all. He also had something to say about it on Instagram. Free NBA young boy. Them kids needs you, young dude. Real talk. He wrote on Instagram. We got a tape that's fire. Let's talk and get this to the streets and make some money. NBA young boy showed his fair share of respect to Mr. Boosie Badass too. In fact, they were filmed multiple times together, having fun, laughing, enjoying their time together. There's even a video where NBA young boy bumps to a Boosie track. So big, me, like, big street love, it's no secret that Boosie perhaps used to see his younger self in the NBA Youngboy, and that's what one of their fans posted this. Youngboy is basically a mini Boosie. And then suddenly, everything came crashing down. So what really happened? Even though Youngboy was unable to leave his house because of his house arrest, that didn't really hurt his music career. In fact, he continued making music even from his home, and Boosie ended up being on one of his diss tracks that he released in 2022. NBA Youngboy released a track called I Hate Youngboy. And the diss wasn't only directed towards Lil Boosie. In our previous video, we already mentioned all the people that the diss included, so we won't go over all that again. But why Boosie? What did he do wrong? Well, let's just say the young boy felt a little bit upset. Feel like Boosie didn't do enough for their friendship. On the I Hate Young Boy track, he raps, Feel like Boosie don't even call me. Don't call my phone. To sum up the song, let's take a look at one of the comments from the track. Youngboy proved to everyone that he can break the internet with one song anytime he wants. He may have broke the internet with just one song, but the internet wasn't the only broken thing after this track got out. Boosie's feelings were too. Boosie heard the thing and was pretty quick to reply. He didn't shy away from telling everybody what he thought about the whole diss track that coming at him from NBA Youngboy. In a recent Vlad TV interview, Vlad and Boosie sat down to talk for a second time in just a few months. They went over some stuff going on with his personal life, but one of the more important things that the two of them talked about was Boosie's feelings in regards to what went down in the diss track that NBA Youngboy pulled off. Vlad asked Boosie about his track, I Don't Call Phones, I Call Shots, and what was the message behind it. Immediately, Boosie let him know that the track wasn't exclusively about Youngboy. Vlad first said that he made a whole song about Youngboy, but Boosie denied that, saying that the song wasn't only for him. It's just a couple of lines where he spoke on YB. And you know something? I ain't drop a whole it's song, I just dropped. And even though the whole song wasn't about NYB, the part that was about him was pretty obvious. In the I don't call phones, I call shots, he said, you know you wrong, clearing all these songs. Don't want to clear a song, but faking like you a dog. That's that fake shit. Don't speak on me no more. Little dude, you know I don't go for that. Let's keep it real, dog. He was a hoe for that. What was little Boozy trying to say with these lines? Why did NBA Youngboy decide to not clear songs with Boosie? Why did he clear songs for artists like Migos and DaBaby, but didn't clear songs for him? He obviously felt like Boosie did him wrong. Maybe there was more reason to why they caught beef than just mere ignorance between the two. That we cannot tell for certain. However, we can tell that the long-awaited album that Boosie was supposed to drop though never got to see daylight because NBA Youngboy didn't want to give Boosie the green light. Some fans were low-key grateful that the diss between these two happened. They believe it made room for some good old Boosie vibes. One dude on YT commented, Thank you, Youngboy, for bringing that old Boosie out of him. But then a lot of people think YB really did go too far. He didn't pay homage to the day ones of this rap game, and that might bite him I one day. 
One guy said, I'm impressed by Youngboy and all he's accomplished, but he definitely gotta learn to respect the OGs in the game. Now, let's go back to the Vlad interview real quick. When they met last time, Boosie touched grounds on the fact that he makes music because it's his job. That's his way of making a living and supporting his family. He don't want no beef. You don't want no diss tracks, but what happened with this track? Why'd he go off on YB like that? To answer that question, Boosie thought deeply about what message he wants to send out. And after about 10 seconds, he said, Cause I don't want to kill him. Okay, that's tough. He did give some explanation to exactly what he meant with this line, though. Afterwards, he added this. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, say what I had to say. You know, I didn't even really promote the song. You know, I just wanted to say what I had to say, you know. Boosie also went into more details with Youngboy's decision to not clear Boosie's song. Just saying some pussy shit, I feel like, you know, he do, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all I felt, you know, like. When asked about his opinion on the recent success and drama revolving Youngboy's music career, Boosie cold-heartedly said, I won't talk about that Yeah, NBA Youngboy just got served. Boosie didn't want to hear his name, and he certainly don't want to talk about him no more. Also, he said that he wouldn't squash the beef with Youngboy even if he had personally called Boosie up to apologize. It's dunzo between these two. Boosie just won't go over the fact that Youngboy played him like that. It's a no-no up where Boosie grew up, and once you cross the line with him, you're a goner straight up. But something that Boosie said in the interview really surprised us. He was very honest in saying this. Nigga hurt my feeling, man. Nigga had me hot. <laughs> well, folks, that's one way to ruin a perfectly good friendship. Boosie couldn't be more honest about how he felt about the whole situation. Seems a young boy valued his career and the possibility of making it in the rap game more than paying respect to the ones who like to see him grow, like Boosie. There's also a chance that the diss made by YB wasn't really intentional and that he wanted to make money off the whole narrative. It wouldn't be the first or last time that rappers used this trick in order to boost their album or single sales. If that were the case, however, wouldn't Boosie keep quiet about the whole thing? Obviously, yes. Perhaps the diss itself was just a marketing trick. As a result of it, YB lost a friend as well as one of his hottest features. This would seem like a more likely story. Do you think there's ever going to be a way the two might start talking again somehow? Is it really over? Or is there a way the young boy can do something in order to reach out to Boosie. Let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this next one. And as always, keep it rizzling.